My girlfriend's older sister flirts with me whenever I see her. I made it clear I'm not interested, but I feel like I'm being set up. Should I tell my girlfriend? Yes. <laughs> yes, oh my god. <laughs> Where the hell are we? You're gonna be meeting with Kira. Okay. She's your next victim. <laughs> I'll try to be gentle. Have fun, bye. bye. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So thanks for having me over. Thank you for coming. What can I help you with? I wanted to know how can I meet guys online and do it in a pretty safe way. So why are you looking for guys online? I'm horny. I need somebody. It's been a couple of months since I broke up with my boyfriend. And you know, I mean, like I'm at the point I'm ready to jump on somebody. Internet's the quickest way to meet someone. Yeah, it's the uh, sex Pez dispenser. Just pops right out. <laughs> exactly. All right. Are you already meeting guys online? I've tried it, yes. Tell me about it. I put a post up, just letting guys know, you know, hey, I'm a busy girl. I'm kind of bored. I would like for somebody to come over and just hang out with me. So you had, you, met people online and invited them immediately over to your apartment? Um, we'd email or mm. Google Talk, and then, you know, if they seemed okay, then I'd give them my address and they could come over. Uh, that's a little risky. You know, the, the advice when it comes to online dating is that the first meeting isn't at your apartment or his apartment. First meeting's in a public place. Like, meeting like that online isn't safe, particularly when you're meeting dudes. And so the way you've been doing it, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to be too, like, fire and brimstone scary. You're right. I think you should put ads out there. I think you should date online. It's a great way to meet people. But you got to stop passing your address out to men you've just had exchanged a few emails with. You're right. I will. How many times have you done this? Had people over? Yeah. <sighs> About five or six people. OK. So you're having safe sex with these guys when they come over? Yes. What kind of protection do you use? Well, I'm on birth control, and they I make sure they have a condom and use it. And do you check during sex that the condom isn't falling off? No. You need to check during sex. I will. Who are the guys who are taking you up? They are people that you wouldn't think would like normally talk to me on campus, because come on, I'm not tall and blonde and the type of girl that people go for on campus. But these are guys that I would talk to. They're hot. Yeah, they are. Most of them are. Mm -hmm. And they're white guys, so mm -hmm. that's my type of person. And there are hot white guys out there who are into big girls, right? You're a big girl, BBW, big, beautiful woman, right? Mm -hmm. You comfortable in your own skin? You happy being who you are? Yes. You want to be who you are? I've always been this way. I'm fine with it. Have you ever been to a BBW convention? No. Do you know about the BBW movement? I didn't know those existed, no. You need to get to BBW parties, which is where guys go to meet big women where everything you have is a solid gold plated asset. Okay, right? wow. <laughs> right? To be in a room where it's not the skinny bitches that all the guys are <laughs> drooling after, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's really empowering. <laughs> I need to go to one tonight. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. Why do men like their nipples sucked like a woman during sex? <laughs> Um, <laughs> why do men have nipples? Men have nipples because once upon a time in utero, we were all girls. We are basically all one sex. It's just some of us have very big clits. Coming up. You're here at ECU, which is a party school and a hookup school, and you've been in a relationship pretty much the whole time. Kind of a unicorn, you know what I mean? 